G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die where we're coming back to our series in anywhere, anytime in today 30 and I almost got that intro wrong because if you listen that is an awful lot of footsteps it sounds like the pitter patter of deadly raindrops on the tin roof of my life there is a zombie horde outside my house right now so we're about to find out how good that uh, like the trench of spikes is actually going to be. I did put a lot of my confidence in it. I was feeling pretty good about it. It's still 3 o'clock in the morning. It's not even close to dawn yet. So I'm a little hesitant to get up there and start trying to be aggressive with them. I might try and wait until I have the moment of best advantage. When the, uh, the sun does come up and I slow down just that little bit, I might be a little bit better. I think they've come from here and gone across this way because I heard them beating on metal, which I think is the construction site next door. So they've come that way. There's still some more out there. I don't know what I'm going to come up to. There could be, all my spikes could be gone. They could still be there. I don't know. But that's going to be very interesting. But in the meantime, while I've been cowering down here, scared for my life, I have been, I have to be very careful not to increase my visibility too much. Make myself a new impact driver because it's the best for breaking things down. If I'm breaking down electrical parts all the time, that seems like a pretty good idea. I've also been getting some steel going and wait for them to go down. Yep, there we go. And make myself some more concrete as well. So everything's kind of coming together. I do have to decide what the next stage of my construction is going to be. What I do with those walls running outside. I do need something on the top. And I think that double layer of wedges into like the arrow slot. So I still have the ability to fire through it is the best way to go. But then I need to start planning. Like what am I going to do about turrets? Do I make SMG turrets now? Or do I save my gubbins? Electric powered range traps. Actually, let's have a quick look at that. Electric powered range traps. That one. That's what I need to get to. To unlock, um, or to unlock the auto turret and auto turret steel recipes, shotgun turret, steel dart traps. Okay, so I need all three of those. Science crafting five, which I'm not too far away of. I need to be level 80 though, so I actually am a long way away. So I don't think that's the right option for me. What I'm actually going to do, it hurts me to do it because I'm so, it's so ingrained in me not to spend points on pack mule. I'm going to buy the next level of pack mule so I can carry even more gubbins. But I still have another point left over to buy myself the core rifle crafting when that comes up as well. So that's going to have to wait a little bit, though it's only the next level. So I'm not too far away from that anyway. It is about to be dawn, so I can start slowly but surely creeping my way back upstairs. This is why, remember a couple episodes I talked about how I wanted to have like that shaft that went from the basement up to the attic so I could make my way up to a more... Oh god, to a more uh, aggressive position without the zombies knowing where I was. I still need to do that. Shotgun, who's out here? Oh, it's the old spikes. Probably should have gone something solid and not draw in all the attention of all the clowns. All right, we're about to be a circus. Call me a Mini Cooper with a bunch of people inside it because things are about to get laughable. There's a loza down there just having a bit of a time on the spike. She's doing the dance and making a little love and now she's going down tonight. There you are. I see her and all your friends out there as well. So they have kind of made their way... Oh, wow, you went flying all the way through to the other side, down the other side of the bluffs, which is good for me. Gives me a bit more time to sort out my life. There's a fair bit of loot out here as well. But well, while I'm waiting for some things to craft back at home, it's probably not particularly a bad idea if I grab you real quick, get my uh, machete out to get rid of some of the goopiness left over from all of the clowns that have now died outside my walls. Maybe I do need to... Sorry, just to go through and... um get rid of these old school spikes and replace it with the proper trench. That seems to be working pretty bloody well for me. That's probably a pretty good decision. I'm going to get a little bit brash and a little bit aggressive because what's point of having an auto shotgun if you're not willing to put your pellets where your mouth is or rather put your pellets where the zombie's mouth used to be and just absolutely tear strips off them. Like you've gone to a nice restaurant and served you some raw beef. Usually comes in strip form. Oh, you need to get stripped as well. As long as you keep it in front of you, Josh, you should be okay. Shotgun will see you through. Sneaky reeler, we've got the opportunity. Put you down. Now, if some of you guys give me some pretty decent loot, I would definitely appreciate it. It was already dead rules to make my point known. It's not, about, it's not about the murder. It's about sending a message. 
And I feel like the message is getting through. Look at that. Look at my banana palms. Look how big and glorious they are now. Like a tropical paradise localized entirely within my backyard. Like Aurora Borealis at this time of year in this part of the world in Seymour Skinner's kitchen. Give me that. Give me you. Give me everything you got. I'm going to go though and do what I said I was going to do last night and mine up these nodes over here. At least one of these should be iron. In fact, let's real quick check this one. Never really check these things as much as I should. So forest prim uh, primary iron, secondary lead or nitrox. There could actually be some pretty decent gubs down here for me. Let's open you. That's iron. That's exactly the one that I need. May as well check these ones too. Lead and iron, I think, was it? Yeah, it was. Okay, double iron lead. That's all right. That's fine with me. I'm more than happy to get down and dirty and get all of this goodness coming home with me. There it is. There it is. What'd you oh, that's lead, actually. Ah, uh, I definitely went down underneath the iron node, so that's a little bit misconstruing. I have to go a bit further to find the iron because I kind of need it. As much as I love having some extra lead around, I am... Um, Hmm, I just listened to some more Led Zeppelin to get the lead out. Ow, me ankles, me toes. Need to get some steel caps down here. I'll crush me bloody little pinky toe. Oh God, and my balance is going to go to shit. Which by the way, actually happens. Pinky toes are weirdly important. I think that's a tiny little gob jewel of iron just there. Most of this entire place is lead, but that looks a little different to me. So I want to have a quick little investigation to see if you're hiding something, which doesn't look like you are at all. Well, that's a little disappointing. Huh. I, I I don't want to give up on it. I want to keep exploring. And the more I explore, the more sand and stuff I get as well. So, oh, maybe. So it's not a completely uh, worth, damn it, worthless endeavor. No, it's still lead. I mean, I need lead for other things. So it's not particularly bad having it, but it's not what I came here for. It's not what I got excited about. All right, well, it is what it is. So I guess someone's going to have to just bite the bullet and be like, yeah, okay, I'll come back to you another day, but it's not really what I need now. So bon voyage for the moment. Like I'm the villain at the start of The Incredibles. Grab you, grab you, and hopefully I get any shitty, annoying sidekicks that might come back to haunt me later on. Can I get up, please? No, that one, no, that one there. There you go. Up and up and come on. There you go. There you go. I know it's complicated. I know ladders are confusing, but you can do better. I guess I just find somewhere completely separate that might have some iron for me. Where do I where do I go now? In fact, let's go here. Let's go that one. Let's go. It's not really a good that one, I suppose. Lead. Not really a good um like cave looking thing. Let's go back over this way and try that one. I'm sure we're gonna find some iron here somewhere. Yeah, good. This one is iron. Okay, well, let's start the whole process again. Break the boulder, dig the ground, and find what lurks down below. Like we're looking for a freaking kraken. Oh. I mean, I'm normally a fan of going down a whole lot, but I like to get the job done when I do. Yes, good. Okay, job done this time. We've gone down and got the, got the reward and the result we were looking for. There we go. Yes, anything that goes clang in the night is a good thing. Well, depends... Unless it comes to the kitchen, then someone's stealing your cheesecake. We're looking pretty good on getting the iron and all the resources that I need down here for now. Plus some extra cheeky stone, which is never a bad thing. I'm getting kind of peckish, you're getting kind of thirsty. So let's, uh, I might just get like one fat stack. What have I got now? I've, okay. There we go. Got a nice fat stack of iron. I'll fix up this last little block and leave no block half dug. Nice. Let's get out of here. Up the ladder. Come on. You, you, you can do it. There you go. Up and at him. Nice. So that is going to be this one. Iron. There we go. Keeping track of where all my gubs are. Cool. Sick bloody tits. Let's get back home. Do I need iron for... I mean, I need iron for a lot of things, but usually just to make steel because I already burned through most of it. I'll put some more concrete on the go. I'll feed myself. I'll love myself. And then I will go outside and get rid of these spikes. This might, I have to do this quest though. I have to do the quests for Trady Potatoes, both of them. I'm also really hurt from having that lead fall on my foot before. <laughs> the ground hurts more than the zombies do. There is my new impact driver. Now, rumor has it, once upon a time, someone did tell me that apparently the impact driver can upgrade blocks, not just destroy them. So like when you right click with it, it upgrades. When you left click with it, it breaks them down, which is very curious. 
Give me all of these so I can see what I can make. If there is anything that I can make that's particularly fun. Should have some food left over in you. Yes, I do. I got myself some cooked chili. Two lots of cooked chili. Actually, give me both of those. But with all the other canned food that I'm currently holding, I can't make anything else fun. Right. What do I need for blue for, for blueberries again? Blueberry pancakes. You need batter and blueberries. Batter. What do you need? Bowl of water, flour, and eggs. I have bowls of water. I have flour. A little shy on the eggs at the moment, though. Or do I leave them in my writing desk because I'm a pelican? No, not in there. Not in there. No. I seem to be a bit shy on eggs. Do you know, was it apple seeds I need? It's animal feed, isn't it? Because I do have the coop upstairs that I don't think I reloaded. Mm. Okay, well, how about this? I'll leave you guys away for the moment because I do have most of the stuff to keep myself satiated for the moment. When I go to tradies, I'll keep an eye out for anything that might come in handy, particularly around little white things that grow into aubergines. Aubergines, not aubergines, it's all. Well, while I'm here and while I'm thinking about it, I may as well, let's go here, recipes for like meat stew. Oh, jerky. Master survivalist. If I was trying to get that going, wasn't I? That's not too far away. Because apparently jerky is really good as well. Plus that unlocks the large backpack, which is bloody good. Survival torch, which I do want. And the M4. Mmm, that could be a good time. That might be the next mastery that I try and push for then. But that's not what I was really after. I was after meat stew. Potato, corn, and boiled water. Well, there's the boiled water. I got corn. I got spuds. So when I come back, I would like to have a big fat stack of stewy meat waiting for me. Thank you. Get that crafting away. You guys can all go back in the box. In the box. What's in the box today? And I'm going to go and do both of my sneaky raids. Traded potatoes don't restock till tomorrow anyway, so I've got a bit of time. But I just want to get in their good books so they offer me some slightly better jobs. Went out the wrong door. Up and up and don't fall on your own spikes. Almost did. You break the but that's okay. We got away with it. All right. Two quests, one woodle, half a day. That's not a great equation for me. This is actually a good opportunity to test my new impact driver. Uh, scrap you. So you do break down pretty lovely, but can I upgrade with you? No, doesn't want to let me. Maybe I don't have the materials to actually upgrade it. Maybe you can't just like upgrade um <coughs> my breathing capabilities. Jesus Christ, can you just, everything that's going on in my head, can you stop inhaling whatever's pissing you off and just fucking relax for a little bit? Oh, sorry about that. Um, Can I upgrade something? Let's go like you, do a bit of damage. I can upgrade with you. That's really dinky die. Interesting. Alrighty then. Well, let's go have a squiz through you. Nothing really there. Alright. No whackers. Shotguns out. Questy boys start. Let's do it all again and see what you got for me. I suppose actually... Yeah, I remember you. I remember you. I suppose... Oh, jeez. You guys are rocking around all over the bloody place. ScoMo's moving fast. I've ever seen him. Must have been a sale on Big Macs or something. Put you down, spare no ammo, just rinse it like it's a head of cabbage in your colander. Um, I suppose now that I have, oh, that's a, that's a big boy though. Now that I have my kick-ass steel club, I don't really need to use a shotgun for everything. If I've got the stealth capabilities of the, um, of the Winchester, pop you open. I can get most of it done ahead of time, but if shit kind of kicks off and gets to the close quarters, the club should do pretty well. Don't even bother getting up, buddy. Don't even need to use the sights on you. Everyone down here is dead. I can turn you back on. Got my looting gogs on. I thought I had my XP goggles, but that's okay. Grab the cement because old habits die hard. Bonds, mate. Level 60. Two skill points to spend. I would like to make myself a better coil rifle. What the fuck was level 60 then? I thought the, I thought coil gun crafting was level 60. What? What? Wait, what am I... I'm still out on that one. What am I fucking missing then? Better barter, was it? I think it was better barter. 25... I mean, better deal and better secret stashes. That seems like a pretty good idea to me. That's rather upsetting. I, well, I was getting... I was getting my nips out. I was starting to pick up some radio waves. I was getting that excited about it, but no... 
As always, Josh got it wrong. Surprise, br bloody supply. <laughs> R's and L's are different words, jo uh, different letters, Josh. I am starting to struggle. I'm so annoyed at myself. I'm forgetting how to brain things. Uh, what else am I going to spend my skill point on then? Is my, like, my automatic weapons doing anything good? Not really, not yet. Need to use it more. Problem is, though, it's just not my best gun right now. My shotgun's better. My rifles are better. My pistol's even bloody better. Oh, the only, like, the only shortcoming of the whole loadout at the moment is me, the squishy part in the middle. It's times like these when I think to myself of, like, imagine how different my videos would be if I tried to, like, insist on portraying myself in the best light possible every time and not just willingly leave all of my flubs in the videos. Like, I could edit this out. I could have a script. I could have some <laughs> try, but put in a little bit of effort just to pretend like I know what I'm doing. But that's no fun. I'm a human being like everyone else and I make a bountiful load of mistakes. It'd be silly to pretend otherwise. Scrap you. Keep on moving through. Just the basement has been done. It's been done pretty well. Anything else that's exciting around? Not particularly really. Nope, no whackers. All right, let's get the club back out and keep on going. The steel cob looks really mean. I still miss the baseball bat though. I still, I'm still carrying the guilt. That's why I need a pack mule, because I need a load of my guilt in my backpack as well. Oh, a Sammy the Sledge just hanging out in an ammo pile. Not too bad. I don't know what, like, what actual use he might be to, but I do have a Terry and now I've got a Sammy, so we might be able to sort something out. Stay out of the room, we're gonna fall back down again. Nothing else really here. Ooh, we've got a light over there though. Can I search you? No, can I break it down? Extra polymers, probably a good shout for you, Josh. Scrap that. My frame rate's a little chuggy. I'm not sure it's because there's screamers alive in here or what's going on, but I'm definitely on edge and a little bit anxious. Oh, it's just, it's a little chuggy. It's not like really bad lag, just like a drop of a couple of frames, but that's enough to make me wonder. Is shit about to kick off in all the worst ways? Bonk! Any friends? We've got a friend over here. Bonk! Oh, it's just- Oh, yeah, look at it. It's moving like it's bloody gelatinous butter. This isn't smooth at all. Yeah, I can hear him. I can bloody hear him. Um, open up. Let me add to the window, please, because I need to see what's happening out there, because I reckon there is- There's you. Where's all your friends? Yeah, there we go. See, you got to trust yourself, Josh. When you hear or when you feel the difference in lag, you can pretty confidently say that there's probably some clowns out on your doorstep. If you just want to sit up here and just start murdering, I doubt anyone would mind. Well, except the zombies are getting shot in the face, I suppose. Where are you going? Where are you going, Jigglypuff? You can't go see Trader Potato. You're all mine to kill. Come one, come all. Come gobble up me knob of bullets. The Winchester is just having an absolute time, an absolute party. As they become visible through the low-hanging branches of that tree, they cop around through the cheekbone and have to smile about it too. Was there anyone else out there? I don't see much more movement through the swaying of the branches. No more little tippy tappy footsteps either. All right, I think we're done. I think we murdered that entire horde before they even knew where I was. Turns out having a decent vantage point is actually kind of useful. Right, well, back to it then. I'll eat those vitamins right away because they improve my wellness, which I quite like. I might even use that first aid bandage. But I quite I need some of my health back after my little uh, skull fuckery down in the, in the mine. Scrap you. Got plenty of little ready though. Nothing in there. Anything for me to break down and take with me? Doesn't look like it. I'm on the lookout though. If you're, sh if you're shining and sparky, I'm taking you home. I remember this room. I remember this room. Up, oh, crouch. Lots of lag while everything spawns in, but I was crouched before I hit the ground, so no one knows that I'm here. I kind of want the do blade, but I don't think I can get it, so just you and you. Oh boy. Oh boy. <coughs> Missed it. Got it. Probably should have seen the white in the corner before you focused on the, <laughs> the Muppets downstairs. Oh, downstairs over in the little like, corner over here. Oh, a treasure map. Yes, please. Scrap you and read you. Says where you're sending me, darling. Where, where are we totaling off to? Out in the burnies. Okay, that's not too bad. That's doable. Go up like this. Someone's down there somewhere, but I don't know where. That's a problem for later, Josh. Current Josh wants to loot shit. Oh, a bunker buster mod. That is a good time. That can go on my pickaxe. In fact, didn't I... 
I did. It's probably still more worthwhile in there. I probably should have changed it over when I was mining iron before. That's okay. Uh, I can scrap both of you. Actually, no, don't scrap the bow. Don't scrap the bow because it's worth a fair bit of coin. Wow, whoever is down there is really upset his spaghetti with me. So I might have to go and have a bit of a word with them. Oi, can you stop beating down the door, please? There's one grenade ought to do. Kind of close. Close enough. Not really, but I can pick up the scraps. Another one out there. That's fine. Another one here. Missed it. Clicked it. Wait for it. Missed it. <laughs> Come on, Josh. Learn to shoot, please. You've got sights in your rifle. Use them for a change. So there were several more just like lurking out in the tree line. I watched all their friends die and did nothing about it. You guys are shithouse zombie teammates. You know that? Oh, 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 oh. Dropped loot. No. Come on. What did I call her? I think I called her Lisa, didn't I? Lisa Labco. No. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, You're supposed to give me really good things. That wasn't really good things. That was just antibiotics. I was hoping for more from you, like some red uh, skill note pages or something a bit more exciting. Or maybe it's only like the real... Maybe there's a different lab coat, Lisa, that I specifically like for Darkness Falls. Like a different entity with a different pool of loot to drop from because I feel like I'm getting stitched up on it otherwise. What's in you? Scrap you, scrap you, some other good things. A water purifier mod. I have lots of those. So I can sell those ones to trade a potato. Sell most of that stuff to trade a potato. Nice. Job is done. Let's go back to see trading and hand this all in. Happy bloody days. Let's go out here. Might have to go grab some of these loot bags while I'm out of this well. So that was the job for Rekt, which is good because he's just here. So I can turn it in nice and quickly and see if that has improved my standing with him. Even one iota. Uh, got some stuff to sell as well. So XP Gogs on. How you doing? Okay, fucker. You respect the shop um, rules. It will get along just fine. So annoyingly, that doesn't actually give me steel casings, which would be much more valuable than just the tips and the gunpowder it does give me. But even that is more valuable than the shetty. So I'll take that one. Have any jobs? Here we go. Starting to get into the tier threes. They're all a long way away, which is a bit upsetting. But if I've got you in, in my good graces, then maybe even Trader Joel has me into good graces. None of you are even down in Jolie's town either. That's kind of the closest one. Old Tudor House. It's probably out in the burn biome though. It definitely is. Probably just some rando house in the middle of nowhere as well. And tier three is actually really interesting POIs because they're often very easily repeatable POIs that you can do over and over again with rather little effort. So really good for people like me who are loot fiends. I will sell you and you and you and both of you because also while I'm here, now that I'm back, you will have a secret stash full of shiny things that I'd like to peruse if you don't mind too much. Uh, I can't take more vitamins just yet, so I'll have to wait. Nothing else in here can be sold for any real amount of money, so never mind. All right. Secret stash. With my new maxed out better barter, what have you got for me? Uh, spotlights? Mm, no. Speakers? Actually, yes, I'll buy a speaker. And not really anything else. Not really anything else. I'll buy that because I'm kind of peckish, but... Dude, come on. That's that's a little disappointing. I spent all those skill points to, you know, try and right, buddy up a little bit, which looks like you've been Get into the butter before now. And you just give, you just, I mean, you slime me fuck. After all that work, you gave me nothing. Fucking nothing. All right, well, be that way. I'll jump over here. I'll use that as a dump chest. In you go. Although I'll take the dollar dues. Because I would like to sell some stuff. I get, oh, and buy some stuff. I go back down to other tradey uh, Joel and he has something worthwhile. That's all a little disappointing, if I'm being honest. That's not great at all. It's occurring to me on this ride out here that it's been a little while since we had a loot drop. It's already past midday today, so we're not getting one today either. Do the, um, do the airdrops, do the derpers still run on the same uh, schedule as when they do in vanilla? It's so, like, I know with... Darkness Falls, the tradies restock every second day as opposed to every three days like they do in vanilla. But it used to be that tradie day was also air derpo day. So maybe it still is every like every three days plus one. Uh, so like day one, day four, day seven, that kind of like routine for derpos, which would mean that is it derpo day tomorrow, I think. 
I can't remember the last one I got. I thought the last one I got was several days ago. And they're getting fewer and farer between uh, each dirt boat, which is a bit upsetting because I quite like them if I find them. I just realized I drove all the way down here. I was supposed to do that quest for trading. Whoops. Oopsie daisy. Well, let's just uh, pretend that didn't happen. And I'm just going to cruise back into town like I never actually took that quest. Like, look, what, what, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I had a job with you, Trader Joel. That, that beard has gone to your head and you've forgotten all the conversation. We, we never agreed. You offered it. I said, yeah, nah, mate, not going to happen. You said, no whackers, knackers. I'll see you tomorrow. And I said, yeah, no whacking flurries. Um, oh, I've got my XP goggles on. So, do you have any jobs for me? I promise I'll do them this. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, 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 that is what I was fucking after. A couple of tier three bezes. No worries, mate. Give me that one. And also, real quick, can I see inventory real fast? I would like to buy some things. What have you got in your secret stash? Got some NVGs, an AK, some electrical parts that are still heckin' expensive, auto rifle parts, P225. Mm, I, that, now you're gonna sell me a lady for 12 grand. I sold you one for two grand. It's a bit of a markup. A tripwire pose, some light bulbs. Yeah, okay, I'll buy one of those. Another AR. No, nah, okay. Okay, but at least got some better stuff this time. All right. But the main, the main treasure that you've given me is the ability to go dig up some tier threes. Let's go find ourselves some good gubs. This could be the moment. We could stumble across a cheeky fucking deaky laser rifle or pistol or multi-tool or whatever. Ooh. Ooh wee. My toes are curling and I'm starting to clench a bit. This could be a good time. Should just be out here. There it is. Slide on just outside of the circle and find the southwest point, which is just, it's a real big bloody circle too. Let's just like do that one so we can find it a little bit easier. I need to go... So about here, I think that's about the southwest just there. Dig down and start fanning out and see what we can come across. Dig a nice little ramp down the bottom as well as we can get out should we need to. Don't want to get stuck down there as I punch the microphone. Sorry about that. All your headphone use I'm sorry I just tickled your eardrums in an exceptionally rude way. Kind of par for the course for me though, isn't it? Let's get down. Let's see where this bad boy is. It'll be down here somewhere. All right. Oh, 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 oh. I'm excited. I'm fucking excited. All right. Here we go. Loot and gogs are on. Everybody cross your fingers, cross your toes, and cross the scrotums. Give me. Hmm. Not a lot, actually. Okay. That's all right. You did have another option for me. You probably spawned some badness at me. That's okay. That's okay. We've got some time. We've got the club. Oh, no worries. Oh, you didn't die from that. There we go. Second time's a charm. Blew your mind and gave you lots of burning feels. Oh, easy. Give us the other one. Ow. I'm ready to go. That's all right, though. I'm not too upset about, like, that first drop. It would have been exceptional if I had found something that particularly fantastic on the first pill. And especially given my... Like, I'm not a particularly high level to be getting laser stuff, so I'm not really expecting all that much. But the tier 3 buried supplies, or so the comments tell me, uh, because I do read the comments, believe it or not. I'm in there reading comments and taking in information as best I can. The difference is that I'm usually recording far enough ahead that I can't have a day off once in a while, that it takes a little while for the information I learn to be implemented. But... Thank you, survivor. My wait, wait, sorry. I'll take it back. Take it back. There you go. Um... Neither of that is good squishy, so I'll take that one. But yeah, apparently the tier three buried supplies ha have the chance to give me some good shit, so I'm excited about that. Let's do that one. Get it Thank out of the you. way. Also, I can I sell you some of that shit because it's worthless to me? Don't need you. Safe yep, travel. all right. Making money, making friends. Let's go dig up some more dirt. The next buried supplies is back out in the desert, which isn't bad because I do need a fair bit of sand while I'm here as well. So two birds, one stone, all that little slice of hotness. Speaking of slice of hotness, how you doing? Oh, don't mind me. Just gave you, just shot my load and it kind of blew your mind. Don't make any more jokes than that one though because I'm already very much skirting that line or very much over it depending on how you think I'm going. Missed ya. Missed ya. Missed ya. Gotcha. Okay. Right, now that we're here, there's Gazza the Goat and a couple of friends. Don't mind me, Gary. Just going to dig up some bananas. Go here. Uh, loot gogs are on. Yes. Sand and clay. The two components of most of the things that I build. This is good. Getting lots of things done. I just realized I've definitely kind of missed the... Uh, I've kind of gone... 
to the south rather than the southwest. So I'll get down a little hole. Oh, 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 there we go. Don't cheat, Josh. Just dig your way through like a proper person and try not to break the game too much. Oh, that's just there. Okay, well, that makes it a bit easier then. Don't mind me. Loot cogs are on. What's in you? Oh, a suppressor mod and a tether. Fair enough. Grab you, change over, take all of that, and get up and out and see what friends have come to join us. Told you we're making friends today. Give you a bonk. Oh, there's a couple of yous. There's a couple of you. All slightly harder zombies than just normals, but that's not too bad. Still, club still got your measure. Oh, it's taking the piss. It's taking the bloody piss. Look at it. I'm surrounded by the remains of my achievements in all the best ways. So that's suppressor mod. I'm actually going to go... Do you have a spot on you? You do. Oh, that's such bullshit. I know I can put a suppressor on the shotgun in, uh, well, in vanilla. It has that nice, that kind of square. Admittedly, a little bit off-center, which always annoyed me, but I kind of want to roll the silencer on it, mostly for content reasons, to lower the sound of the gunshots. That's a bit upsetting. Uh, I'm upsetty spaghetti about that. Can I modify you? Can I put you on there instead? No. You sh you're shining green. Oh, it's because you're on there. Get rid of you. Put you on there instead. Okay, how do you look? Let's have a gander. It actually looks kind of boss, actually. I quite like that. All right. Uh, in that case, uh, you need a choke, not a shock, uh, not a regular muzzle break. So never mind. What if I you? Can't put you on there because there's too many mods in you already. God, I just can't find anything. Give me that one. Take that one. Can you take that one instead? You'd like me? There you go. Make sure we get maximum damage out of all of our available guns. Before I leave, actually, I was about to just toddle on back to Trader Potato and then head on home, but I do need the sand, so may as well start myself a little bit of a pit. Probably should have just dug up where I was, but this will do fine. I think it's the row down that is, gives me one-hit kills. No, it doesn't. Can I put any mods into you that would give me some extra love? No, because you're completely stonked. All right, never mind then. I'll just carry on as is. I'm so close. In fact, I have a skill point. I have a skill point. Can I go another level of minus 69? Um, minus 69, I guess I can. In fact, let's get both of those. Yeah, there we go. One hit killing on all the sand. Saving myself like a, what, half the time. I'm double as speedy. I'm used to being fast, but usually it's also impressive. This time, I'm actually excited to be going so quick. Oh, I seem to have hit my limit because I can't dig the sand anymore. It's now sandstone. I must be like under a hill or something. Yeah, I've dug far enough away the terrain has changed, so now I'll just dig the same all the way back again. Just turn around and go back from whence I came. I'm trying to dig one block below so that I don't ruin the terrain so I don't fall into this with my motorcycle later on, because I guarantee you that I will. But at least the ground above me is still nice and solid. I can just carry on just like I am all the way back. Give myself some nice fat stacks of sand. So I should need to come back here for a while yet. Oh. Well, that's pretty good timing. I just got back to the start. My shovel finally broke. Probably fair, actually. My shovel has been my workhorse for quite a while. With all the treasures and the buried supplies I've been digging up, plus the trenches around my house and... All sorts of shenanigans I'm getting up to. It's definitely been pulling its weight more so than half the other things I've got attached to my tool belt right now. I'm like the freaking Batman of useless tools right now. My utility belt is barely a utility belt. It's a utility pocket of a bunch of garbage. Shouldn't say that. I just haven't been using the things to do assorted jobs. Go around there. Back to try to potato the hand in this quest. And then it's time to head home. You know, I've got some upgrading to do, some base building to do. We've had a successful day. It's just a bit of a load of the shop. All right, jolly boy, I'm back, back again. Give me something good this time. Oh, <laughs> you heard me. You heard me on the way back home. You're like, you know what? It has been doing good work for you. Here's a brand new one. Cheers, knackers. I'm not going to sell that. Definitely keep that. All right, sick bloody tits. No extra cement. No, we're good. We're, you we're cruising. All right, we'll see you a little bit later. Modify you. Take you guys out of there. Continue the legend of the piss shovel by keeping it in golden glory. Nice, nice, nice. You are not worth anything. I won't repair you or just use you to repair my other shovel at some point. You do need some life in you, but I can do that with a repair kit. Let's head back home. I've got the gas to do. I've got more gas back home. It's been a good bloody time. What a good day. Oh, what? I'm sorry? I'll take that. 
Just a random corpse in the middle of the road. I was just driving around. I guess that zombie got murdered by a wolf or something at some point. There's usually a fair amount of wolves and stuff along here. God, there's goop all over the place out here too. I just saw the god bag and I was like, don't mind if I bloody do. I will take that back to my home and read it from there so I don't get a quest out in the middle of freaking nowhere again. Out in the middle of the boonies. So I'll head home. That's a real good get. Always have me finding treasure maps. Says has been leaving around all over the place for me. Like the little patron saint of loot. Back home we go. Nice and easy. Grab all the stuff out of my dump chest I left in there the other day. And up oh, over the top. Oh, got stuck on the ladder there, but that's okay. I can't wait to do like a proper reno on this place and get everything like all nice and shimmery, shiny and wonderful again. It's a little way away, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Well, I laid in its nice little spot. That's actually not a terrible place for a lathe, you know. You'd have to have like your dust extraction and stuff up above it and somewhere to for all the metal shavers and things to go. But yeah, that could, that could be doable. That could be definitely doable. Right, store what I can into there. You can go in there too. Uh, store everything I've got around. I should have repair kits somewhere. Just nope. You missed it, Josh. You clicked too fast and you got out of the thing before you were ready. Use that to repair you. As the guards down the road kick off a little bit, as expected, but real fast. Read you. Where you sending me, says. Where you gonna bloody send me this time? One there. And one there. Oh, that's down. Oh. We might have to go on a bit of an exploration. Let's see what's cracking out in the hillside out there. It's out in the uppy downies, but we should be okay. There's a little path going out that way. It's a bit steep, but we might be able to manage. And one up there as well. Sarah's has been cruising around, dropping little nuggets of awesome all over the place, waiting for me to cruise around and accidentally trip over them. What a legend. I've lost that shovel. And I don't think I used a repair kit. Did I scrap it by accident? That would be really annoying if I did, but not the worst thing in the world, I suppose. Now that I have the spare one, we can kind of manage it. Nope, wrong button. Put you away, please. All you guys go back into there. Only eat a half stack of honey. Silly. Click the wrong button and you weren't paying attention. You pay the price. Pay the piper. I need... So I, I can make mastery books, but I need like 600, I think it was. So I'm kind of on the way to making that one. I could make another class book, but I'd rather focus on getting my master survivalist up and going before anything else. Uh, instead, give me you... Give me you. That's the right button. All of those. Give me that as well. Got lots of concrete available to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get up and we'll do another layer along the walls. I'm not sure what to do about the garage because doing this, now that my walls are double thick, like it is going to help a little bit, but like you might have to like squeeze through here or maybe I can get rid of like the block in the middle and replace these ones. So I have a line of sight out to the wall outside. Because otherwise, it's kind of going to be a bit of a blind side to my entire uh, operation I've got going on here. Um, but, more importantly... Mm, okay. Do I have to go instead then? Do I go like that? Go on face? No, not that way, you muppet. This way. No, like that. Is that the way to go along like that? I think it might be actually. I don't hate that. Unless there's like, what I would like is like a quarter block like that, but a ramp. So kind of like the arrow slots in the game, but only half of that. Just like a little wedge, a short wedge that can go in the corner. I think I have seen that kind of block in the game, but I don't think it's a craftable block. I think it's only in creative, which is a little upsetting. But I think just going around like this will probably be enough. Yeah, I think that's the right way to do it. So let's go like that. Let's go XP Gogs on. Let's go Impact Driver. Do you do upgrades? I'm sure you do. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, and you are faster than the blink of an eye. Oh, I I, I think I just arrived. I think I just arrived on the scene about as quickly as the Impact Driver did. While I'm at it as well, actually, I'll quickly grab uh, you lot. Can I get rid of you real quick just so I can punch a couple of plants? Get three out of you, three out of you. That was still growing, Josh. Read the bloody screen before you start punching shit. All right, that was a waste of time, but look at my banana plants now. Look at them. Look how tall and majestic they are. Break you, break you, break you. Get lots of curvy yellowy goodnesses. 
Nice. Even though I don't really want the banana bread anymore, like I'm all about those blueberry pancakes, I'm still really excited to have them. Nice. I can go drop these things back home because I need to go get some wood and some cobble just to do another couple of upgrades on the corners there. We could get most of this wall done tonight. I know it's after midnight and we will wrap it up right about now, but I've got a, a mission in hand, a mission in mind. So I need that block there, which I can only... I could have made like a wet concrete block of it, I suppose. But I may as well just do it like this. It's just a, a couple of extra steps, but probably worthwhile. That is the wrong block. Thank God I didn't do it the wrong way. That one there instead. Yes, there you go. And then on this side... We go back to advance and we go... Wait, no, go back the other way. Back up the top and there. Nice. Nice and easy. Upgrade you all the way. There we go. So we've got that nice kind of curve following all the way around. I like the way that looks. Let's continue this on while avoiding clogging up my driveway again. Look at me actually remembering things for a change. It's unusual, I know. We're in uncharted waters where Woodle's actually doing what he meant to do. I have no idea how many blocks this is going to take, or how much concrete it's going to take even, but we're getting it done relatively quickly. Upgrade you, upgrade you as well, and then just like jump up the top and carry on the trend all the way along. This is good. The, the impact driver actually upgrades faster. If I was crouch walking, it'd be faster than I'll be walking along. This is really bloody good. I'm enjoying this, but I'm burning through concrete very bloody quickly. It's also 1 a.m. Very conscious of how much time I have left. I only got about a thousand remaining, but I have one wall to go. We might, we might just make it. We might just make it all the way along, and then it's a whole nother row of concrete again on top of it, but definitely worthwhile. Oh, look at it coming together. Look at it all coming together though. So I am definitely going to need to do something about the garage because as it stands at the moment, it's just not going to work out for me. Go for that rotation along like that. Like it shouldn't be too much to ask, I don't think. Just get rid of the couple of blocks inside and we should be fine to go all the way to them. How, nope. How far is this going to get me? How far can I make it on just what I've got in me wet, soggy, concreted pockets? There we go. Oh my God, we've got to get close. We are very bloody close. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. It all comes down to this. I'm going to leave a couple of rebar frames. You watch. I'm going to be very upset with myself. Or I'm going to get seven feet lucky and just make it by the skin of my nipples. Oh, no. Easy. Easy. Easy done and dusted. All right. Well, just like that, then we now have some proper extra defenses all the way along. I'm bloody happy with that. Right, well, on that note, I can go back home. Happy as a cucumber called Larry. Put you guys back away. Put you back in my hot little hands. And I can go back away as well for another slightly dampier day. That's good. So what I need to do, I need to go and dig the rest of that trench around my house and replace the old spikes with the new ones. Could probably put some old, like the old style barbed wire out there as well. And then start thinking about some more active defense. Because especially now I have the spikes out there, it will stop and prop a lot of zombies and run the risk of them going into enrage mode. So I do need to kill them now that I'm trapping them. But that's coming back to kind of the question of, do I build some sort of funnel for them to run down or just kill them with the walls? I think now that I can make blade traps, it's probably a wise decision for me to go and try and funnel them a bit into some blade traps and get that working for me. I'm just not entirely sure how I'm going to do that a little bit. Mmm, it's all very interesting. It's all very bloody interesting. But I'm going to have to come back and try and make those interesting decisions in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like liked, make sure the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.